Welcome to another contribution for Utopian. Today we are going to see some of the methods that we can use to manipulate LibreOffice Calc spreadsheets. The methods that we are going to use today are the following. Copy by name, that will allow us to copy a sheet to a new sheet. Page enumeration will allow us to create a numbering to manipulate spreadsheets of the calculation book. Get by index with this method we can send a spreadsheet from its index. We can use get by name to send calls through the name of these sheets. Get count, it will allow us to know the number of sheets in a book. We can use has by name to verify the existence of a sheet. Has elements will inform us if a document contains spreadsheets. Insert a new by name, this is a method that will allow us to create a new spreadsheet by specifying its name. Move by name, it will allow us to move a sheet through its name. Remove by name will allow deleting a sheet specifying its name. To explore these methods, I have already created a model. We will also first see how to create a calculation book. We have a function first. In this function, we declare an empty array, a string, and an object with the name Audoc. In the string, we will save the URL of the template with which the calculation books are created. With the following light, we send a call to the constructor that will create the calculation book and assign it to the Audoc object in order to manipulate it. We now assign the Audoc object to the function so that it can be risked when using the function. Let's execute the function. As you can see, it creates a new calculation book. Now, in this procedure, we will use the previous function to create a book and later we will create a new sheet. For this, we need a variable to save the group of sheets of the document, in addition to the object that allows us to manipulate the document. Through Odoc, we create a new book. Now, we send a call to the group of spreadsheets and assign this object to Auschitz. Auschitz will allow us from this moment to manipulate the page of the book. We close the previous document because the procedure will create a new one. To create a new sheet we will use the insert new by name method. We must specify the name that will be given to the new sheet as the first argument. Later, in the next argument we will specify the location of the index of the new sheet. The index of the list begins its count from zero. Therefore, this sheet will be located in the third position. Now we create the new first sheet with the index zero. That is, it will be located at the beginning of the sheets. Let's execute the procedure. As you can see, the sheets have been created in the expected positions. To avoid creating new documents in each procedure, let's see how to rescue the active document, for this we will use the object this component. This object is created automatically and refers to the active document. We will create new sheets in the document already active. We must change the names since it's not possible to create two sheets with the same name and therefore to try it, it will throw us an error. Let's assign the first name to one and new calc sheet name to the other. Let's execute the procedure. As you can see, the sheets have been created in the expected way. I will use the following procedure to show you how to move a sheet. We will use the same group of objects as in the previous procedure to manipulate the book and the group of sheets. We will use the move by name method to move the sheets. In this method, we must introduce as the first argument the name of the sheet to be moved and then the index to which the sheet will move. Let's execute it. You can see that now the first sheet has index 4. Let's move on to the next procedure. We use the use all objects. We will use the if control statement first. This will help us verify that the sheet we are trying to copy exists. To verify the existence of a sheet, 
we will use the has by name method with the name of the sheet as an argument. This method, in case the sheet exists, will return true, otherwise it will return false. We'll now use the copy by name method to do the copying. First, we introduce the name of the sheet to be copied. Then we introduce the name of the sheet where the content of the first one will be copied. We use the getCount method to know the total number of sheets of the document. Using this as index will cause the new sheet to be placed at the end. To verify that the copy is made correctly, we will introduce a text within the first sheet. Now we will execute the procedure. As you can see, the new sheet has been created the content of which is the same as the first of the sheet. Therefore, the copy was successful. In the following procedure, I will show you how to delete a spreadsheet. We are going to use an if first to verify that the sheet to be deleted actually exists previously. For this example, we will erase sheet 1. We will use the remove by name method of the O sheets object. Let's execute the procedure. As you can see, the sheet has disappeared. In the following procedure, we will use two more variables. A variable s declared as a string and an index variable declared as long. We will use a for cycle. We will be a root from 0 to get count minus 1. Since get count gives us the number of sheets, the cycle will run through all the sheets. To the string s, we will assign its previous value the string sheet, the index, and later, using getByIndex method, we will obtain the name property of each of the sheets with the help of the index. To finish, we insert a line break. With this message box, this shows us a window with the name of all the pages of my book. We are going to execute it. Another way to manipulate the group of sheets is through enumerations. For this procedure, we will use, in addition to the previous objects, the OSHIT object. Just as the OUTDOG object allows me to manipulate the book and the object OSHIT allows me to manipulate the group of sheets, the OSHIT object will allow, will allow me to manipulate a particular sheet. We will also use the following object to create an enumeration. Then we will initialize our variables. We will use the create enumeration method that will create an enumeration contemplating each one of the sheets. We will now make a cycle using the next element method that will allow us to select element by element. We will assign each sheet to the out sheet object to manipulate it. To the text string, we will again assign its previous value, the string sheet, the index i that is now merely descriptive, and we will use the property name of the O sheet object to show the name of the sheet. We finish with a line break. We print the string with a message box. Therefore, the result of this procedure should be the same as that of the previous procedure. We are going to execute it. As we see, it gives us the expected result. I hope you found this video useful. We begin to see how to manipulate the sheets and little by little we will see how to manipulate each of the elements of a spreadsheet to create more complex macros. See you!